Well, today I'm going to give you an update on some of our sables, how they've made it through uh, after our record uh, winter of negative 6 Fahrenheit. Uh, actually, at the airport just uh, less than a mile away, it recorded negative 11, so uh, not sure, but my negative 6 was within about uh, a gauge. It was about 6 feet from the house, so it was probably getting some heat from the, the house in the area around there. But anyway... Uh, we're going to take a quick look at our mule palm here, as you can see how big it's getting, and uh, uh, doing real well. We're still not sure what we're going to do with it over winter, but uh, we'll see. See how this winter goes. It's supposed to be a warm winter according to the uh, long-range forecast this year, but you never know. But uh, anyway, let's get a look, and let's go and look at those sables and see how they're looking. And first up here is our Sable Brazoriensis. Uh, this palm is uh, getting pretty big again. It's gotten up to be about six feet tall and the fronds are about four feet wide. So it's not doing too bad after it got killed almost completely to the ground. You can see this frond closest to us here uh, has uh, some damage where it was pushing out. It was the first frond coming out. So it's got uh, that frond, it's got two full fronds out and one more trying to come out and so that's the update and we'll show you a picture here before and after just so you can see how it looked there and so that's the before and after of that one and uh, so doing pretty good pretty happy with that after this type of winter this palm was unprotected so let's go on to the next one here and the next palm here is our Sable Palmetto Moxville uh, from Plants Delight. And uh, you can see it's doing pretty good. We had to trunk cut it. So uh, you'll see when we put in the picture in a minute, it's lost all the fronds except for one for some reason. We didn't have to trunk cut. It was down low enough below the damage. But so it's got one, two if you count that one, and three fronds that were out after the damage and uh, you can see down here it's there's how it looks after the trunk cut and you can see our pictures here of the before and after and we'll go on and take a look at another one and here's another one one of our sables this is a sable Birmingham and this one's in the shade, so it's not doing quite as well. It just gets a little afternoon and midday sun. And uh, plants around it are kind of crowding it out a lot lately. But uh, this palm was actually probably over six, probably closer to seven feet tall before it got killed to the ground in this winter. It was unprotected as well. And uh, this palm uh, is now probably only about just maybe three feet and the fronds are much smaller coming out on it so it's not doing quite as well as the other ones on the rebound but it is alive so we'll show you some pictures here and show you the before and after and so we'll move on and we'll take a look at the next and I believe it's the last bomb and here's the last palm in our list, another Sable Birmingham. And this one has been killed back for a couple of years now, so it's not doing as well either. But uh, this was totally unprotected and coming back. And uh, this is probably the last one on the tour today. And uh, so uh, we'll show you some before and after pictures. And before we sign out here, just make sure to like and subscribe this video. And uh, we'll see everybody later.